Hey guys, it's Alex and I finished another day of working. Like I said, I work from home, I tune for Lund Racing and a gentleman, um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about something that happened today that's very common and I wanted to, guy, to give you guys a heads up as to what happens and how I treat the issue. So a lot of cars that are naturally aspirated and they get this goddamn zoom, what's going on with this zoom? Anyway, that are naturally aspirated typically don't need that much looking at the tune if you got a like cold air, uh, cold air and a, and a manifold and off-road exhaust, the tune is pretty straightforward. So when I see a lot of the tunes come back, you know, a certain way, you know, when something comes back abnormal, I go, okay, there's a variable. So a gentleman by the name of Brett sent me a data log and the knock sensors went apeshit. I'm going to show you guys in a second what I saw in terms of the wide open throttle pull, what I told them to do and the subsequent outcome of what ended up happening. So he ended up sending me a data log, so it's number five. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that guy and we'll take a look at it real quick. So I'll go over here and look at uh, data log number five. As you can tell, I have many data logs named number five, but he's the most recent. So again, I'm not gonna use a screen capture software because honestly, that takes too much time and I need to get the video out to the public. So I'm gonna deselect all items and then uh, keep RPM up and keep the pedal. And there's where he goes wide open throttle, that big old spike. So let's right click, hover over it. For you guys that have Live Link, you have this ability also. So it's not anything, no, nothing special here. So this is RPM, and this is wide open throttle. Boom, we put it to the wood and kept it to the wood. Good boy. So now I'm gonna graph knock sensor. Okay, on the hit, on the hit, the knock sensors went, no thank you. Uh, it went, uh, I believe, what, three? Yeah, three on the hit, which means it's pulling back three degrees, okay? So three, and then as I scroll to the right, it gets, it tries to add it back in. So on the hit, he had some knock sensor activity. I said, okay, let me do this. Why don't you go get gas somewhere else, bud? And he was like, but I just filled up. I'm like, I get it, I get it. Run that tank out, do your normal thing, and when it comes time to fill up, Fill up somewhere else. Now, what I tell people nine times out of 10 is if you're gonna fill up anywhere, you fill up at the premium gas stations, not Kroger, not Walmart, not Speedway, not, uh, fuck, who else sells gas? Costco, that's the biggest one. You guys like Costco gas. Guess what? I don't like Costco gas. Lund Racing doesn't like Costco gas. I can talk for, to them uh, on them about this. So, on the hit, Knock sensors went kooky. So I said, you know what? I don't want to adjust your tune. I don't want to take timing away here. I want to see if the gas that you got was bunk shit. As you can see below, my reply was to him, the best way to try, the best way is to try to get gas at a completely different gas station. If the KS knock sensors come back, we know it's a bad batch of fuel. Uh, 93 isn't 93 across the board. I've seen Marathon, Costco, and Walmart 93 cause issues. And Shell, Chevron, BP, and Texaco are usually pretty darn great. And he, as a good customer, got me another log. So let's take a look at that. And there's data log number six. Let's take a look at that. And same thing, we're gonna go to the bottom here and deselect all items right down here, deselect all items. So all that bullshit disappears. And the only thing that's up is RPM. Then we're gonna max it out. Okay, for you live link guys, max it out. Okay, you can see that big spike at the end. I'm gonna graph, or I'm gonna highlight pedal. Boom, there he is, he went to the wood. Remember, when he went wide open throttle last time, it got three, three degrees of positive knock sensor activity or, th or whatever, three, it pulled back three degrees for lack of a better word. So let's graph knock. Now, do you think that's high? Actually, no, that is zero. So let me put the cursor over here See, that's zero, that's the starting point. Knock is zero. So on the hit, it added all the timing. Woo-wee, I know it's a little deceiving the way knock sensors, but this is the zero line. And as I graph across, across, across the wide open throttle hit, boom, knock sensors go negative. That little five must have been a bump in the road or something because it was like at part throttle at like 0.2 load. But look at that. Different batch of gas, same exact tune, and it added all that timing back in. So remember guys, 93 isn't 93 across the board. If you go to uh, Costco, Walmart, all those places that I mentioned earlier, and you you think you're getting 93, okay, you're getting probably the best fuel that gas station has, but you're not getting 
the best 93 you could get. That being said, I've seen some very, very good fuel in the Carolinas and even California. I love how some people say, oh man, I went this fast on 91 octane right in California, which is actually pretty darn sweet and sweeter than some of the 93 in Florida, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, okay? So 93 is at 93 across the board, and this shows you exactly uh, a good, this is a good example that shows you exactly, you know, what I'm talking about. Okay, so just because you're using 93 doesn't mean it's good sweet 93. Get good quality 93, BP, Shell, Chevron, or Texaco. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.